Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to create a Windows 10 bootable USB drive for free. Now let's take a look at how we can download Microsoft Creation Tool and then explore third-party software. For installation, you will need a minimum of 8GB USB, so please make sure there is no essential data on it. Let's get started. Open Google Chrome and type Windows 10 ISO and select the first link from the search result. You can also find the download link in the description below. Once you're on the Microsoft official website download page, go down and here you'll find the option to download the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. This tool will help you create a bootable USB drive or download an ISO file which you can then use to install Windows 10 on your PC. Click on the download tool now. Once Media Creation Tool is downloaded, insert at least an 8GB USB flash drive into the computer. Double click to run the file. This will open the Media Creation Tool and it will get a few things ready. Scroll down and accept license agreement. You'll be prompted to choose whether you want to upgrade your current PC or create installation media for another PC. Select the Create Installation Media for Another PC option and click Next. Then, uncheck the recommended options. Now choose your language, I am selecting English United States. And you can select the architecture 64-bit, 32-bit or both. I am selecting 64-bit. And then click Next. As we are going to install Windows 10 without any third-party software, we will choose a USB flash drive as the media for copying the ISO image files. Click Next and then select your USB drive. Click Next again to proceed. As you are seeing the Windows 10 setup prompt, which says, getting a few things ready. This can take 15 minutes to half an hour, depending on your computer speed. After getting a few things ready, Windows 10 will start downloading and then it will verify the Windows 10 ISO image file. After that, it will go ahead and start to create the Windows 10 installation media USB drive. Once the process is completed, you should see now that your USB flash drive is ready for use. Now click to finish. Go to the File Explorer and check the USB flash drive where you will find the Windows 10 setup file. Now we're going to show you another method of how to download and create a Windows 10 bootable USB drive using third-party software called Rufus. For this purpose, you need to download Rufus Utility from their official website rufus.ie. Once you are in, scroll down and search for Rufus 4.4 or latest version. Click to download and install it. I am leaving the link in the video description so you can download it. By double clicking open the Rufus. It's a lightweight utility that helps us create bootable USB drives. Make sure the USB flash drive is connected to your computer. Now click on arrow and from drop down menu select download and click on it. You will see the list of available operating systems. Navigate and select your required operating system. I select Windows 10 and click Continue. Here, you will see the Windows 10 latest version 22H2 version 1. Click Continue. You will see the Windows Edition click to continue. Now choose your language. I am selecting English United States. Click to continue. Finally, you can select architecture either 64-bit or 86-bit. I am selecting 64-bit and click to download. Now select the location where you would like to save the Windows 10 ISO image file. As you see, after saving the file, Rufus will automatically start the Windows 10 downloading. It is time to sit back and relax. 
as it will take 15 minutes to half an hour depending on your computer speed. Once the image file is downloaded, Rufus will automatically populate some of the fields based on the ISO and system information. Now, you may want to customize a few settings. Under the partition scheme, select GPT if your system uses UFI or MBR if you have a BIOS system. If you want to know which system you're running, right click on Start menu and select Disk Management. This will open up the Disk Management window. Then go to Disk 0, which is your installation disk, right click on it and go to Properties. Once this opens, go to Volumes and it will tell you what partition style you are running. Whether it be MBR or GPT, you can see mine's GPT. As you know that modern computers typically use GPT, you can leave the cluster size as default. Remember, these settings might vary depending on your system configuration. After setting these configurations, you can optionally change the volume label if you wish. I am labeling it Windows 10 ISO. Choose NTFS for Windows 10. Double check everything to ensure all settings are correct before proceeding to start. After that, click Start to begin creating the bootable USB drive. A new window will appear where you can customize Windows installation. I am creating a local account username. Then set regional update to the same value at this user. You can also keep this option checked to disable data collection. We will leave BitLocker automatic device encryption unchecked and press enter. Rufus will warn you that all data on the USB will be erased. If you are okay with that, then click okay. The time it takes to create the bootable USB drive will depend on your system speed and the size of the ISO file. Once it's done, you'll see a ready status on Rufus. Now you've successfully created a Windows 10 bootable USB drive using Rufus. You can use this USB to install or upgrade to Windows 10 on your system. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. I hope this guide was helpful to you. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.